Hey, sneaky links back tonight. Tonight I've got Salix 3.1 Beta, but this time it comes with LXDE, and not the usual. So, hmm, a little bit different, but there's nothing too much changed to be really honest with you. It's just a different interface. So this is going to be quite a short video, and going to be a quick look. Accessories, all the usual leaf pad, etc. Graphics, simple scans, and then a little paint program. Claws mail on Firefox there. Abby Word and Gina Mercury Babies there. Got your package manager. Genie for text editing, a Sundap Brazero, Excel, and what media player, and system tools, PC manager, file manager, as you would know if you've used LXD before. So, anyway, that's all you get. But I will say the install took about four and a half, five minutes, and it was pretty good. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the package manager, which is Slackware based, as you should all know if you've used Salix before or any Slackware based distro, and it's called G Slapped. And basically I'm going to find a little app here, I just installed it for you to show how it's done. And it's no different from Synaptic really. So I'm going to put in Conkey as you can see, and I'm going to highlight Conkey, click the box, and install. I'm not going to execute straight away, I'm just going to go down the bottom here and show you a bit more. It describes it for you, so a description of what it is. Dependencies, you need to change log and files. Now there will be nothing in files because you haven't installed it yet. Once you install it, it will all come up there in your files. So it's going to take up 3 megabytes of additional space. Okay, so that's cool. We click on OK. And whoosh, Bob's your uncle. Down we go. Look at that nice and quick tonight. It makes a change, doesn't it? And basically, that's it. We're all installed. So we're going to click on Close right there. We're going to get rid of the package manager. Oh, what did you slept? Now what you'll find, a lot of these distros, you won't get a menu entry for it. This saves a lot of asshole, I suppose. But, oh. It would be nice to have one though, wouldn't it, when you think about it? But hey, anyway, never mind. There'll be no menu entry whatsoever. What you have to do is go to Run, you type Conkey, and Conkey would come up on a desktop. That's how you get these things to work. A bit like Crunchbang, etc, etc. Some sort of distros like that. Crunchbang's quite good, actually. A new one. I might do that tomorrow. Anyway, Google, BBC, Room Firefox, the latest version, 363 or 364, I can't remember what it is now. Really nice and fast, isn't it, really? Colours are nice, screen's nice, we're in widescreen here, so that's pretty cool. As you can see, nice and warm here today, for a change, don't you think? So yeah, Fox works fine. There's plenty of browsers in the package manager, so you can have Midori or whatever you want to. Midori's quite, quite nice if you want a, a, a smaller, smaller browser, a bit quicker. And excuse my bad chest due to hay fever. <clears throat> anyway, if you right click the desktop, you get this. Look, you can change all your icons, backgrounds, etc., screen savers, on and on and on and on. And that, at the end of the day, is basically it. So, just to finish the video, I'll go straight back into the package manager and I'll just show you a couple of things and then we'll be done, I think, on this one. Now, on the whole, I really like this because it's nice and small and the install is really quick. So, that's pretty good. Anyway, this is Handbrake for video transcoding. Some of you may have used it, some may not. And as you can see, description tells you about it uses GDK 2s and dependencies, enormous amounts, as you would expect if it's going to transcode videos for you. But yeah, it's the line wise there, why you just want that, I don't know. Right, I don't do that sort of thing, not really my cup of tea anymore. I've grown up, I think. Anyway, Salix with LXDE, pretty good, quick install, nice. Sneaky Linux out.